Welcome back, Redstoners. Hope you're all having a good day. Today I'll be showcasing a solid state memory data transfer system, which you can see behind me. Over here we have our UI. And I've down here below I've mapped out the functions of each lever. They are in a state of low or high. Low being the low numbers, high being the higher numbers of your binary system. Here we have our high-low switch to alternate between and our reset button. And this is how we send off our data signal. So we've got 7 and 8 already selected. So let me reset the system real quick. And we'll send off this bit of information. And there we go. We got the 8 popped up. And I'll turn this off to low and reset. And now that it's in low, we'll send off our 7 bit. And there we go, a 421. That's our 7. Let's try another. We'll do the 213. Need to reset our system again. Send off this signal. And there we go, we got the 2-bit that popped in. So we'll go ahead and switch back over, reset the system, and send off our 13. And there it is, 8, 4, and 1. There's our 13. Go ahead and try another. And we'll send off this bit, and it should be the 0 low and 15 high. And there's the 15 high. And we'll flick it over to low. We'll reset the system and send off the zeros. And there we go. As you can tell, it works out just as expected. Over here, we have a just your normal button layout. And this is a vertical red coder by Darkness344. If you need a tutorial or understand how this is working, I suggest checking out his channel. And these blocks over here are the data transfer system. I got this idea off of Matt Batwings. Um, his was 8 bits long. I converted them all into 4 bits and used an observer tower to switch from the high-low system. Over here is where the uh, data signal gets transferred back into its binary. I had to manipulate this a little bit from Matt Batwings. I think he plays on Java, so this is bedrock. A um, little bit different on the timings. Um, typical glass tower is just to send the signals up and down. As you can see, we got a 0 on the first column, a 1 on the second, 2, 3, and a four, here's our five, here's our six, and lastly our seven. Uh, let me fly over here and I'll flip the switch back over to the high function. And there it comes in. As you can tell now our seven turned to an eight and we have our nine and our 10, our 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. <clears throat> so with this system, you can plug this into anything and get your binary functions from uh, just eight levers. Over here, I went ahead and threw out how I accomplished this. Um, a redstone lamp with your copper bulbs. Um, the unique feature with the redstone lamp is it will output a signal strength into the copper bulb, thus being able to alternate the on-off signal. Um, here, I'll go ahead and show this one too. And as you can tell here in the middle, they do not interfere with each other. They can only receive an on or off signal from a direct source. And just like over here, this is how I was able to convert the binary back and forth. 
pretty pretty easy binary uh, if you don't know in reverse is the the opposite number and uh, well, that'll do it thanks for watching consider liking and subscribing and uh, we'll see you in the next video